So today I'm going to go into more about the differences between biblical Christianity and the Catholic Church. Because Catholics think they are Christians, as in biblical Christians, but they're not. There are differences. But yet Catholics, they consider themselves Christians. Many are unaware of the differences or the beliefs that the church teaches and the Bible. And the thing is, if they are claiming Christ, if they are claiming to be true followers of Jesus, then what they teach needs to be accurate scripturally, not picking and choosing so the scriptures fit what their popes and their bishops and their people decide, but what's already there in the scriptures in context. And it's not just their doctrinal stuff that's off, it's even their practices. One way the Catholic Church is different than biblical Christians is that they worship Mary. They may say that they don't and that they just honor her, but their actions and their teachings and their attitudes about it say otherwise. Their statues, they pray to Mary. You know, we're never instructed to worship Mary. We're always pointed to the one true living God and that he does not share his glory with another. So they're pointing you to another God to worship, and that is Mary. And they put such a high emphasis on her, even more than Jesus. They say they're just celebrating her, but they're not. Their actions and their teachings tell us otherwise. And that is not the way of the one true living God. And just go and watch a bunch of their stuff. Read a bunch of their books. Listen to their podcasts. It's out there. What do the Catholics teach? Pray to the saints. Pray to Mary. And they think it's okay because the Bible says to pray for one another. That's talking about the living, those followers of Christ who are alive on the earth. We're not to pray to anyone other than the one true living God. We can pray for one another. You're not praying to me. I'm not praying to you. We're not praying to Mary, St. Anthony, or anyone else but the one true living God. We are not instructed to go before Mary or any other saint with our prayers and supplications or for anything at all. Another difference Catholics teach on is purgatory. The Bible does not teach of a place called purgatory. The Catholics take a scripture and they just make it their own and say, this is, this is the scripture that backs that up. But then keep listening to their teaching on it and it's a bunch of man's ideas man's thoughts, man's interpretation. So purgatory is a place where souls who are not yet perfected in their love for God are purified before they can get into the presence of a holy God. And they're purified of any unrepented sins. But you know, Jesus gave one sacrifice for the sins of the world. It was a one-time thing that covered our sins that we have done, have yet to do. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from condemnation. And you know, Jesus suffered and died as a sacrifice for our sins, for the sins of the world. And when he said, it is finished, it was. And Catholics, they always want, they're always adding. It's, it's like what Jesus did wasn't enough. You know, we are saved by the grace of God through faith in Christ alone and what he did on that cross. It was a substitute. We don't need to continuously... Um, you know, make atonement or anything because what Jesus did, he was that perfect sacrifice, the only acceptable sacrifice. There's no need for those who have put their trust in God's offer of salvation through what Christ did on the cross. We don't need to be cleansed in a place called purgatory 
that Catholics made up. And you know, there's a lot of people that have done videos and have written books explaining the differences. And I can, you know, put some in the description that maybe you want to go check it out. But ultimately, we really need to, as followers of Christ, know the scriptures, know the Bible, and then compare it against whatever church teaching you're, you know, you're at, whether it's a Catholic church or any church, or even if you have a dream or a spirit appears to you claiming to be God or from God, you always want to take all this stuff, compare it against the scriptures, and if it goes against what the Word of God says, don't believe it. Throw it out.